for each of these families. These tracks could lead to Europe, but many feel like they're going nowhere. Hundreds of people are effectively stuck at this railway station in the south of Macedonia. The migrants and refugees need papers to allow them to travel across the country. And the police station is struggling to cope with the amount of applications. And besides, there are only a few trains every day. No rule, no system, no anything. So have you got a ticket or not? No, I don't have a ticket. From yesterday. No. At the weekend, as trains arrived, people tried to force their way on board. And there were chaotic scenes as they scrambled to get inside the carriages. The Macedonian authorities have had to react. Now, as a train approaches, the police move in and make a dreadful choice. Separating the relatively small number of families who will be allowed to board from the many who won't. Every children here very every very tired. Uh, she is afraid for her children. There are people who have been waiting days to leave the station at Gevgelia. The gratitude is obvious when they're able to begin that journey through Macedonia on to Serbia and eventually most want to go to prosperous EU countries. There is no doubt that such large numbers trying to cross borders is causing problems here in the Balkans and also in EU countries. But the truth is, what's happening here says more about the countries that these people are trying to leave behind. Obai has fled from Syria and he bears the scars of a bombing there. There was about uh, 400 uh dead body, blood anywhere, can't imagine. As evening comes, another train pulls in, but it brings with it the realization that people will be left behind. And while some families board, others arrive in the darkness, unsure of when they'll be able to leave. Chris Buckler, BBC News, Gevgelia.